Hello and welcome to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. My name is Andras. Hello, my name is Taylor. Today we're doing a comparison between uh, 10 by 25 binoculars and 10 by 32 binoculars. Yeah. And these come from different categories. These are categorized as pocket binoculars and these are categorized as compact binoculars. Now we have also created a buying guide on compact binoculars that you might find useful because uh, we explain everything about them in there mm -hmm. and divide them by price range. Uh, but if we get back to the topic, today we're going to talk about the differences between these two categories that I've just mentioned. Yeah, I have to point out that in, in the vast internet, uh, you can find that these two ideas get mixed a lot, pocket versus compact. Yeah. And that many, when you look at all those uh, affiliate blogs and so on, many people who are writing about this don't have a clue, don't have a clue about the differences. And there is a really sharp distinction between pocket and compact because compact binoculars it's impossible to put them in, a, even in your pocket it's uh, really almost impossible to imagine to put this 10 by 32 binoculars in your pocket and then carry it around in your uh, in your pocket for, for prolonged, two hours yeah for a prolonged time no way it doesn't go it goes only with pocket binoculars because they're really so small but okay if i go through the general features uh, in terms of size you can see that uh, 8 by 32 is almost double in size compared to 10 by 25 Double in size, double in weight. These are really, I would say, uh, hmm, how to call it, serious binoculars. Yeah. They really perform on all the fronts almost as good as the full-size binoculars. These are really compact, uh, not compact, pocket binoculars for carrying them around so and for, for... More for hobby, for right? For hobby, yeah. yeah. Okay, in terms of construction, they all, majority of these binoculars use uh, Schmidt and Pechan roof prism types. So straight. There are some poro prism binoculars in 10 by 30 or 10 by 32 still available on the market, but every year less of them in lower numbers because the whole market is shifting towards roof prism designs. Uh, what is also a really big difference is that the eyepieces with 10 by 32 you're getting a sophisticated twist up eyepieces with multiple positions, while with pocket binoculars you usually get only one position yeah two all together so yeah. and in some cases like with this steiner some pocket binoculars also just have rubberized uh twist down uh fold down uh eyepieces so you get much better eyepieces with 10 by 32. Uh, focusing is central on all of these binoculars it is almost impossible to find uh, models with individual focusing in any of this category um, and you can also, what is one general features which you can find on 10 by 32 but you're not able to find it on, on pocket binoculars is uh, attached uh, um, lens covers. Yeah. This is something you're not getting. So I think I covered most of the general features so you can talk about suitability. Yeah. Why are used 10 by 32 and for what kind of purpose the 10 by 25 is used? Well, the 10 by 25, as I said, is from the pocket category and mm -hmm. pocket binoculars here are more for I would say hobbies leisure mm -hmm. activities so if you go cycling uh, yeah. around the, the local town or somewhere else or if you go on a walk then you can simply put the binoculars in your pocket and you have them at hand whenever you need them mm -hmm. so uh, as you said these are more hobby binoculars for simple use for amateur use whereas these are already serious binoculars so they can mm -hmm. be used for various means uh, they can. They are popular as binoculars for hiking. Bird watchers already use yeah. them. We already have in this category. We can already find binoculars priced two thousand euros. Yeah, the here, Victor SF. Yeah, here I would say 600, 700 euros is this top, top of the line. Yeah. Uh, the compact binoculars, are, as I said, are already used by bird watchers, hikers, also by hunters when they go yeah, hunting. From in the hunting. Yeah. Some people prefer 10 by 32. Because they're light. Yeah. And when you carry them for two or two, three hours, the weight really means a lot. So yeah. carrying a compact instead of, a, I would say, the one meant for twilight. On top of that, mountain hunting is mostly done during the day. Yeah. Uh, okay, I will go, I will run through all the differences in terms of optics. So when we talk about the field of view, 10 by 32 usually have around 115 meters of field of view, while 10 by 25 have from 110, 
100 to 110 in that in that region. So, so uh, a, no, I apologize. 90, 90 meters. Yeah. 90 meters. So there's a Usually, huge difference. Yeah, here. it's a huge yeah. difference. Here it's 115. With those, it's around 90, 80 to 90. So really a huge difference. Low light performance. 10 by 32 perform much better in low light. It's it's almost uncomparable uh, because pocket binoculars are really hard to be used in low light. The exit pupil is also yeah much smaller than with 10 by 32. True. It's almost twice as smaller. Uh, in terms of comfort, you have a bigger exit pupil. You have a wider field of view with the 10 by 32. Uh, so much easier to use, much more comfortable. I would also uh, comment here that the narrower eyepieces here are really can be compared to wider eyepieces there. It's much easier to rest them against the... This one, yeah. Yes, yeah. much easier, yeah. Yeah, because honestly speaking, with with these small pocket blockers, at least for myself, sometimes I feel like the eyepieces are even smaller in my eye. Yeah, and yeah it's like, they are. It's a strange feeling sometimes. But normally, when you want to, let's say when you're going on a cycling tour, you won't take compact with you because it's just too heavy. Yeah. And with this, for some couple of minutes of viewing every here and there, it's a better option because they're so light. Yeah, and it's easier to store them in your pocket than yeah. your, in your backpack because you'll have them ready anytime ready, you want always. them. Yeah. Okay, what's the next difference? Use with glasses. The eye relief on, uh, on compact binoculars 10 by 32 is much longer than on, on uh, 10 by 25. 25. So for myself, which I wear glasses, this is much easier. Uh, size and weight, roughly 50%. So 50% heavier, 50% bigger. In terms of price, I would also say 30, 40% of difference. If we take a look at the same series, yeah, for the example. The same right? manufacturer, the same series, 30% more expensive. But it is true that uh, compact binoculars really perform well. They're almost as good as the full-size binoculars. Also, uh, when we talk, I forgot with the general features, with compact binoculars, you can find models with an open bridge. You can also find models with magnesium housing like you said, uh, for the most expensive models like uh, Victory, Zeiss Victory SF yeah. or similar, also like Ultravit. It's, uh, it's, you can find it with uh, magnesium housing with open bridge design. So a really... So aim at professionals. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I think we covered most of the things. When to take and to decide which one. So when to take 10 by 25, when to take... 10 by 42, should we make a short summary or yes, everything? Yes, okay. we can. So if, if you are a hunt in the mountains, if yeah. you're a hiker, if you're a bird watcher, bird watcher, or if you use binoculars frequently, yeah. go with the 10 by 32. Mm -hmm. If you, I don't know, go on, on I would if say- If weight is the first priority. If weight is the first priority, if you cycle a lot, yeah. if you go on a short walks and so on, mm -hmm. and if you, I don't know, I like to have binoculars ready, Always, yeah. always in your pocket, then the pocket binocular 10 by 25 is the way to go. Yeah, because honestly speaking, let's uh, say if you go on the mountains 2000 meters high or even more, this will be too heavy and too big, too clumsy. That one for that five minutes of view on the, t yeah. on the top will be good enough in terms of optics, but when you're carrying it for six hours up, it will be much better option, much better choice than the compact. If your glasses wear 10 by 32. Yeah, 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 with yeah. myself, I'm not able to use pocket binoculars. Okay, I think we covered everything. Uh, thank you for watching. If we forgot anything, if you have any additional questions, please use the comments below. Check our other videos with individual reviews of all these categories or the buying guides. And normally, see you in the next video. See you in the next review. Bye.